boastful Ben. A Ben the Yellow Saddle Tank Engine story. It was Ben is a is a small engine on the island of Sodor, but he likes to have fun and be really useful. One day he wasn't being a good engine at all. He was he was too boastful and too big and he was being too boastful and too cheeky and talking about his brother Bill from his old railway. Just then there was Toby with Farmer McCall's chickens. Morning, Be morning, Ben, said Toby. How are you doing? I'll tell you, said Ben. My brother, Bill. I am talking about my brother, Bill. He was once for my old railway. So do you understand? Of course I do, said Toby. Well, he's not your brother. So he is. He won't look like you. You're even more square than I thought. You don't look like a proper engine. Ha! Huh? said Toby. You... You silly engine, he said. I thought you were a good en good friend at all, Ben, said Toby. And Toby puffed crossly away. Just then, Ben was ready to take some to take some brake vans up to the Action Canyon. Proteus was there. Be careful, said Proteus, and I'm afraid you do need some help. No, thank you, said Ben. I don't need any help. You do and your name's not Bill at all. You're a stinky, you're a stinky Proteus. And this made Proteus feel, feel, feel even more upset. So what? Uh, said Proteus, but Ben didn't listen. But Ben didn't listen. He carried on with his work. Him and the great vans went up the Grand Canyon, but just then he realised that it was too dangerous and too it was too dangerous and the great vans were too heavy. The great vans had a plan. He's too big for his boot boots, said the twin brown ones. And we'll push him, and we'll push him down," said the blue one. Ben was about to take him. Ben was about to let them stay at the bridge, but it was too late. They pushed him down. They pushed him back. They pushed him down. They pushed him down the hill, and he couldn't stop. Help! Help! said Ben. I can't stop. Ben was so scared as the brake vans were pushing him too fast. Help! Help! said Ben. And with that, and with that, Ben was so scared as he realised what happened. His driver had ploughed the brakes, but it was too late. Ben, the, the brake vans pushed Ben off. The brake vans nearly pushed Ben off the rails, and so Ben was safe. Phew! said Ben. I thought it might be too late. I've warned you, said Proteus. But did you listen? Well, yeah, Proteus, said, said Ben. Just mind your own business. You're no good at all, and you're no fun. Proteus was cross and puffed angrily away. Diesel arrived in and puffed it and puffed in next to Ben. Now, shut up about... Shut up about talking about your brother, Bill, he said. He's not coming to your railway. Oh, who cares, said Ben. Well, by the way, by the way, Steamy, said... Well, by the way, Steamy, said Diesel, you're no really useful engine at all. You're like this. I'm Ben. I'm Ben. I'm cool and good. I'm cool, good, and really useful. And I'm like... And I'm like my brother Bill. Well, shut up, Diesel, said Ben. And by the way, by the way, I like it when the fat controller calls you a stinky diesel. And that's how, how, and that's how special you are, he said. Diesel was so cross. But when he was about to push Ben off the rails, Oliver arrived. Take it easy, he said. But Diesel... 
but Diesel pushed his trucks off the rails and the loads went everywhere. So did the, except the second truck. And Diesel, and, D, and Diesel pushed Oliver into a siding and there was Ned trying to clear the tree up. The, the tree off the track. Oliver wasn't watching where he was going as he crashed into the tree. Poor Oliver and poor Ned and Diesel puffed sadly away. What have you done to your friends? said Proteus. We were trying to be really useful and nice to you. Well, really, boasted Ben, I am the really. I am the really useful engine. Why and why don't you show off? And why don't you show off too? Said Ben. This made Proteus cross. Show off, he said, and puffed away. Just then, later, however, later, however. Toby was telling telling Murdoch and Spencer about and Spencer about Ben. And with that, Proteus puffed into a siding because of his problems. When Ben came in, just then, the yellow engines, like Duncan, Molly and Flora, didn't know that he was that he had been naughty today. But just then, boastful Ben came in. Enjoy the, the cool engine club, said Molly. Yes, that's right, said Flora. What's the cool engine club, said Ben. An engine being cool, said Duncan, is they invite engines like diesel engines and really useful engines. So you better stop being boastful again, said Duncan. Oh my, said Ben. Ben puffed away. He knew what he did to diesel. And with that, he puffed away. Diesel was sad and upset when Ben said this. When Ben said this to Diesel, Diesel, he said, "I'm sorry, I was mean, boastful, and being a show off." Bog off," said Diesel. "You're not. I've had enough of your tricks." Diesel, I mean it," said Ben. "I'm so sorry. I've made you upset." And with that, Diesel smiled, and Ben was ready to show him what the new. And Ben was ready to show him his new surprise. Diesel was excited. At last, they arrived. At last, they. At last, they arrived at the Cool Engine Club at Tidmouth Sheds. And there, and there, the three hap, the three yellow happy engines were excited to invite Diesel and and Ben in that club. Welcome to the Cool Engine Club, they said, and and with that, Ben and Diesel smiled happily. Ben was invited. So was Diesel too. Diesel was really happy, and Ben wasn't boastful Ben anymore. He was really happy that he was never going to do it again forever.